Hey guys, how's it going? Back today with a, another new bait caster from Cast King. This one is the new White Max. And as you can see, just a really nice looking reel. Super clean look with the white, the red accent. Just a clean looking reel. Really impressed with how it looks out of the box. Just some, some of the specs here real fast. It weighs 7.7 .7 ounces, has a max drag of 17 and a half pounds. So a pretty stout drag for a low profile bait caster. 5.3 to one gear ratio on this one. It is a lower speed reel and I'll get back to that here in a second. 165 yards, 12 pound mono for line capacity. It has 11 plus one shielded Maxeter corrosion resistant ball bearings. These are gonna give you a super smooth and long lasting performance. And right out of the box, I can tell this is gonna be a super, super smooth reel. I mean, it just feels great right now. You can see, I mean, it is smooth as butter. Not making any noise. Smooth as can be, really impressed with it already. Um, has a brass main gear and main shaft. Four disc carbon fiber drag system with the star drag adjustment. Um, CNC, anodized, liffled aluminum spool, real lightweight, real strong and durable. EVA phone grips, the oversized. And these actually have the, I don't know if you can see that or not, the Cast King logo on them too, which is kind of a cool touch I really like. Just looks pretty sharp. Uh, dual braking system on this reel. Uh, I'll get into that more here in a second too. There's really three tools at your disposal to make adjustments with the casting on this reel. One is the spool tension control knob here on the side. And then, like a lot of reels you've seen, the magnetic brake adjustment on the outside, and then it has a centrifugal braking system on the inside too that I'll show you. So to take the side plate off, it's got a little lever here in the bottom, you just press that in, turn the side plate like so, and then it'll pop right off. Here's the spool, I told you about a second ago. All right, so you can see here the seven magnets for the magnetic braking system. And the orange tabs right here on the inside, that's the centrifugal braking system. And I'll kind of go over here if you're new to centrifugal braking or dual braking systems. I'll just go over here real fast if you're a beginner. But to do the centrifugal braking system, right now you can see it's in the off position. Basically what these tabs do is you can press them in and just use your fingernail or, and it helps if you have fingernails which I don't really right now so but you just press these tabs down you can hear them click in position and as you can see now the orange right here in the center these are in the on position now basically what these do is these create friction against the um, spool shaft and when you're just starting out or just learning uh, to throw a bait caster or you're new to this centrifugal braking system, I always suggest putting all four on from the get-go. You can do less, and if you're going to do less, I suggest just two. You always want to do an even number, in my opinion, on these, and you want it to be opposite, opposite sides from each other if you're just doing two. Basically, you just want an even distribution on the spool shaft. So zero, two, or four on, and you wanna make sure that it's opposite ones if you're just doing two that's on. I hope that makes sense. But when you're just starting out, I usually suggest just turning all four on, then do your fine tuning and adjusting, practice with a little bit, and then you can make changes as you go. But um, once you get your centrifugal braking where you want it, I'll usually, do two after I get it fine-tuned, two or zero, but everybody's gonna be different. So once you get that where you want it, then I prefer just not to mess with it anymore. I hate to bust into the side plate when I'm on the water and trying to fish. So get the centrifugal brakes where you want it, and then you can just fine-tune it with the magnetic brake on the outside here. It's just a dial that you turn up and down. And once you get it fine-tuned and where you want it, really the only time you're gonna be 
dealing with this is when you're changing lures or when the wind changes and you're casting into more wind or less wind. So a lot of ways to uh, really fine tune this reel and get it performing exactly how you want it and elim virtually eliminate those uh, bird nests and uh, oh, backlash is issues. Um, like I said, it's 5.3 to 1 gear ratio, so a lower, lower speed reel. What that means is for every one complete turn of the handle, the spool spins 5.3 times. And a lot of people see a high speed or a low speed and think, oh, high speed, it must be better. Not necessarily. There's Basically, there's just certain applications where this reel is going to shine over others. And for me, 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm going to be throwing a deep diving crankbait on this reel. Uh, the other thing I might throw on this would be large glide baits or swim baits. A lot of people like a, ha a higher speed reel for swim baits. I kind of prefer the slower speed just to force me to slow down. But this reel will be great for uh, bottom fishing with like cut bait or live bait, things like that. But for me, a bass fisherman, it's gonna be for the deep diving crankbaits the overwhelming majority of the time. If you're throwing a higher speed like a 6.3 to 1 or 7 to 1 with baits like this, it's going to feel like you're reeling in a brick. And what this lower speed reel is going to do, it's just going to really, really cut back on the pull and uh, fatigue you might feel from throwing these large lip lures all day long. You can fish a lot more with the lower speed reel on those, on those baits. But overall, I'm really impressed with this so far. I cannot wait to put this baby to work. It just feels really, really solid. And the price is just unbelievable. 46 bucks for this reel. I mean, you're not gonna find a higher quality, low speed reel uh, any cheaper. So check them out, amazon.com or cascade.com. And uh, we'll catch you later and thanks for watching.